yes. Good morning, everyone. I'm here with my brother today at Chessington World Adventures. Some of you eagle-eyed viewers may have seen him come up in a few of my previous videos. But in this one, he's going to be making a proper appearance. Look at this. This is a park that I know surprisingly very little about in the UK. This is going to be an adventure. A Chessington World of Advent. Wait, that doesn't make sense. First ride of the day. I'm surprised by how much there is to look at. I don't really know where to look, but I have to say, I'm really impressed so far. It's also worth noting that this ride does use a virtual queue system. Thankfully, we were able to get a spot straight away before we even came into the park. So Ed, that's his name by the way. How did you find that? Yeah, that's pretty good. Nice. I didn't really know what that layout was like, so it was nice for it to be like a surprise. I thought that was brilliant, honestly. I wasn't sure whether it launched backwards or forwards first. It was backwards, caught me off guard a bit. It was a little bit of a punch. The spike that goes up backwards was so much fun. So we've straight away joined the virtual queue to get back on this thing again. We're now going to go and ostrich stampede because this thing has a five minute queue, so I don't see why not. I think we should probably go. The ride just stopped. 30 minute queue for Dragon's Fury already. I don't really know the way that the crowds move. I think we'll go and do Tiger Rock, the log flume, because I think that might get a long queue too later on. I'm starting to think Chessington might just have the best theming in the UK. This is quite a speedy log flume. That was an extremely mediocre log flume. I'm glad we didn't queue for it really. The theming's nice, but the actual ride, it's just, I don't know. It's a log flume. Yeah, it wasn't that good. <laughs> Guess where Olga was born? Colmorden. We were there last year. Yeah. Whilst we wait for our Mandrill Mayhem reservation, we're just gonna do Dragon's Fury as we're walking past it in this area of the park. Let's see if this is better than Spinball Wizard. was so quick and it carries that momentum into the first drop. I also didn't really know that layout well at all. It was a bit of a surprise to me. It's really quite a snappy ride and there's at least three solid pops of airtime on that. It's difficult to compare to Spinball Wizard because the layouts are so different but that was really good. I think it's better than Spinball Wizard. Well we're back here. This I'm a score music, I'm guessing it is. It's banging. Explorer, mouse, drum beat. What a name. Backwards facing seat, row seven. So good. And there's some bits where the turns are fairly tight and it does have a bit of snap to it. I wouldn't say it's a proper thrill coaster, but for a family coaster, this is as good as it gets. So we've joined the virtual queue for that yet again. We'll be back here shortly, but time to go and explore something else. Spike here is so good on that row. Still not opened yet, so I think we're gonna go on the Gruffalo. Pick on someone your own size. Somehow this doesn't even look like the Gruffalo anymore. The Gruffalo ride was pretty fun because for most British people it's quite an integral part of their childhood. Though if you don't know what the Gruffalo is, I don't think the ride tells the story that well so you'd probably have been a bit confused. Time for Tomb Blaster. No, don't do it. That's Ed. That's me. He's better. How on earth do you get that score? What the fuck? Croc drop time. Wow, what a massive drop. It's quite tame. I guess it tickles your tummy a little bit. Like get messy. Bruh. Who broke into my locker then? Front row this time. 
backwards facing seat is definitely the best one, but of course it's nice to try it on each end. Is that an Outer Banks reference? For some reason the virtual queue didn't refresh, which meant we basically got to use the same ticket twice. We're doing it for a fourth time today. Rattlesnake is the last credit that's currently open because Vampire and the other powered coaster that I think is down there, that's closed. Pretty nice statement. I think they accidentally added an extra zero onto the queue time because it's literally walk on. Well, this, this does apply to me to be fair. That was pretty good actually. Squashed my brother so many times because it only seems to turn right. Yeah, this is the park's Mac powered coaster, Scorpion Express and it's not going to be open at all today. So the last credit for us to get would be Vampire, which isn't open yet, but it should be open later. Still on 50 minutes, apparently. We just had a little lunch break. I had to put this here because otherwise people are going to start going up the wrong way. I'm going to go on the left side this time so I don't squash it as much. Yeah, that ride's kind of brutal, but it is fun. Nature at work. That's enough. <laughs> I saw a red fox on the train line today. <laughs> well, here's another one. <laughs> there it is. Just started testing. Someone turned this into a meme somehow. Capybara. Classy. Flamingo lad. Vampire hadn't opened yet, so we went on this safari thing. It's really bumpy and kind of quick, surprisingly. Me. It's pretty cool. It doesn't look like a very good design. It's an animal. What are your thoughts on that, Ed? Yeah, it's pretty good, but there's just this random like, indoor thing with like, lights and suspense, and I didn't even know what it was. It was a bit of a gimmick. I think they're trying to copy what Disney did with their uh, backlot towards ride, where there's a big water fountain, but it didn't even affect us at all because we were on the wrong side of the vehicle. Dragon Fury's just completely died. But the virtual queue has said we can go and do Manjil Mayhem again. I wasn't sure how it was going to turn out with the virtual queue, but it actually allows you to get so many rides on. This is going to be our sixth, and it's like two hours of the park still left to go. Row seven again, easily the best seat. I'm going on this thing now, I don't actually know what it's called, but... He's getting surprisingly close to me. Vampire's oh. <laughs> just opened. Run! With an hour and a half of the park left, finally open just in time. We're in Vampire Station and this shit slaps. It's not too rough, it's a little bit jolty but it's not uncomfortable I'd say. Yeah it's a classic and the extent of which that swings kind of surprised me and I've not been on any ride that swing like that before. Going on this because it's in the area. Time for one last ride on Manjil Mayhem. This will be the last time our virtual... Oh, hello Ed. So they just scanned our virtual queue ticket but it said we can reserve to get another one in four minutes from now. So we might be able to do this a few more times actually. But Dragon's Fury has just reopened as well, so I do want to give that another try too. Could be our last ride, could not be. We'll see how we're feeling after we get off. We're feeling good. Time for an eighth and final ride on Mandrill Mayhem, and then hopefully we'll have time to finish it with Dragon's Fury. That will be it for Mandrill Mayhem, and I have to say, I'm really impressed with this. I think it's a really good addition to this park. Not too thrilling for the market that they're going for but it's definitely a step up from the other rides here we managed to ride it four times on the holy row seven two times on either side and i really like this thing it's quite compact some nice snappy elements in it and i think chessington has done a really good job here in terms of smoothness it is perfectly smooth the one thing i would say is that the vehicles bounce a little bit which is quite a strange sensation it's not uncomfortable but it's noticeable and with five minutes until park close we're going to join the queue for dragon's fury just Perfect timing, really.
back out the entrance because they closed down. So what's just happened, instead of getting on Dragon Fury, they said, we'll get you on Mansion Mayhem instead, so we're going for a ninth ride on this. Can't really complain. So there we go, nine rides. We've got a train to catch. So I think this is where we're going to end the video. And this music feels like it's a soundtrack to us running to catch the train. But we'll see you, I don't know when, but bye. Pull up, it's a chill ride.